Greetings, and welcome back to Pokestuck Fire Red. Last time, we did Karkat's Gym. John decided, hey, let's go on an adventure, and we met his friend, the Wayward Vagabond. Now, I think there was something said about perhaps a meteorite in all of that, but I couldn't... I can't quite remember, because... Not you. You. This. Too adorable. Couldn't deal with it. But I think we had... Let's check. Somewhere in our key items, there's a meteorite. A meteorite that fell from space on the Mount Moon long ago. It is very lumpy and hard. Not even gonna... Put the innuendo on there. It's not necessary. So, let's see if we can't find John's friend. Oh, hey, Doc Scratch, what do you have to say? Here we are on an island smack in the middle of nowhere. We're lucky to have an upstanding young carapace like WB here. My granddaughter was in a tizzy over WB's friend. Something about a famous Pokemaniac? I'm not sure what that means, but WB is quite a good man. I'm glad he has your seal of approval, Doc Scratch. I'm glad. What do you have to say? Fair enough. And here... Ah, uh, it's another Doc Scratch. He's just everywhere. Really? Okay. I guess we're going surfing. Oh, hey. That's probably not good. Oh boy, a Psyduck. And we still have Beck out. Well, I guess. It's not like we'll get attacked very much. Psyduck is down. And a Gold Duck. These always confused me because they seem so very obviously psychic, but they are apparently not. It always kind of throws me off when they when I remember that they aren't. And another Psyduck. Don't know why you thought this would work when the Gold Duck didn't, but more power to you, I guess. Okay. That, uh, that works. I'll just burn you instead. How's about that? Didn't think you liked it. I don't know why you're calling me awful. Oh, um, hmm. 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 We, uh, <laughs> we're not wearing a hat. This bit of dialogue doesn't quite make sense in that. With that knowledge. I like that hat that you're not wearing. <laughs> I guess we go up from here? Yeah, I suppose so. What is this? This is Kindle Road. Go straight for Hound Mount Ember. Cool. Whoop, and grass. Where the slowpoke? Guess what we're not catching here? The slowpoke. Hello? Sure. Why not? A Meowth! Hey, I have one of those. It's a higher level than yours, though. 
but uh, could use some experience. So why not have a cat fight? I'm just gonna go right for it and start cutting it. Yeah, that was probably a better idea than just screeching something that I know has low defense. Another Meowth. Well, okay. We can just keep doing the same thing. It won't do very much. There's two Meowth down. A Pikachu. Guess, but something different. goes down just about the same, though. And a Clefairy. Okay. So you have some cats, a mouse, and whatever a Clefairy is. A star-shaped thing. Uh-oh, metronome. Whirlpool, I'm okay with that, actually. That's perfectly fine. Let's see how you take a faint attack. Eh, about the same, really. That's fine, we can just keep using that since they're not raising their special defense. Ah! Egg bomb! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. That was a thing. I'm gonna have to make sure I don't use too many of those, because I don't recall if I have Access to buying more. Not that. Just bite it. There's only one HP or something. If you feel famished again, you should probably eat. Oh, hey, it's a Pharaoh. Still not catching one of you. Like, yes, I'd like a flying type at some point, but, uh, not that. Everything tastes great when you're out in the wild. You know what? You're right about that, actually. Pretty much everything does taste great when you've gone and cooked it yourself and such. This is not a good matchup. Key Lime needs more experience, I think. And can't be poisoned. So there's that. Uh, that'll take two hits. That ought to be enough. Ah, oh, stupid low damage rolls. Come on. There we go. A sand slash. No, I think we'll just uh, we'll just leave this in and toss some leaves at it. Funny how so many things just quiver at the sight of leaves coming towards their face. Some do it enough that they just faint. There's a fair amount of experience. Eradicate? No, this is fine. I'm not switching. Sad. 
doesn't help you at all. Huh. You're okay with leaves. I'm still not switching. I could have switched, I didn't. And Raticate down. Completely needed critical hit. There we go, level 45. Huh. I will keep that in mind in case I'm ever in a volcanic region and need to drink the water. Oh hey, double battle. You're afraid of nothing. Well, let's see that. I'm a choke and a primate. Huh. Well, the psychic squid's in a good place. I guess we'll just burn the other, really. Let's see how well that does. That does pretty well. That does pretty well, I think. Choke will probably go down to this, actually. No, not quite. Close. Oh, yeesh. No, nah, that's okay. Kinda thought that was going to do a lot more than that. Effect grew a level. Gained a lot of stats as usual. And there goes my choke. Completely necessary crit, thank you. And we were too much for them. You two look annoying, but I guess we'll take you on. How's everyone's HP? Fine, I guess we'll switch Squiddle to the front. Frivolous. Frivolous? Excuse me, you're the one that's wearing a weird outfit in the m on the middle of a beach. Who's the one with the frivolous outfit? I don't think it's us. Now, if we were, say in uh, the three in the morning dress or the ah heck what was the name of it the uh, the dead shuffle dress I think it was then yeah that would be a little bit frivolous for battling on a beach just just a little bit but this uh, not really no hey hit yourself in confusion please ah That did about what I was expecting. A lot of experience. Gained a level. Those are some fairly decent stats. And our attack stat is higher than our special defense stat. Or special attack stat. Okay, sure. Sure. Shop. Let's heal Squiddle a little bit. Where's my super potions? There they are. Ah, that's better. Eh, that's alright. Because we'll just take you out with a side beam now. There we go. You're down. I'm a choke. I'm not really frightened of you in the least. I wonder if we can actually manage to take it out in one shot now. 
Yes! Excellent. A lot more experience. Now you're panting despite the fact that you're not the one that's actually doing any fighting. Why? It's not like you actually did any fighting. You just stood there, called directions, it's what you normally do. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because the Psychic Squid will just kind of deal with these without an issue. At some point, we'll probably upgrade Psybeam to Psychic, but for the time being, Psybeam is doing a perfectly fine job. I, uh, got a comment, actually, about, uh, using Solar Beam, teaching it to Key Lime, and, well, well, it's a pretty good idea. I'm just not sure how I feel about moves that you have to charge up first. Um, I mean, yes, this is in-game, and it won't really matter too much, but I'm just not sure about it. And in any case, uh, it's actually learned by level, like at level 46 or something, so... Ah, hell. Um, you don't hear that dinging sound in the background. Nope, not at all. I forgot to turn that off beforehand. Um actually learns it by level in just a couple, so I wouldn't use the TM on it. If anything... Let me check something, actually. If anything, I would teach Solar Beam to... Where's it in here? There it is. I teach it... Wait, Squiddle can't learn it? But it's a beam move! What? What? I... Okay. Huh. That's a thing. Well now, I was just going to say that I would teach it to... Squiddle instead, but I guess I won't be doing that actually. Hi, Doc Scratch. Guess we'll talk to you. I highly doubt you did anything by hand. Not with your weird puppet hands. Oh, we got Rock Smash. Cool. I like that idea. A bowl of chatter, that sounds good. Okay, that's a little bit creepy coming from Doc Scratch. That's really creepy, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see now. Can I actually proceed? Oh, hi. You're another trainer. Well, you didn't have to accept a challenge. I walked up to you you to talk to you, not to challenge you to a battle. But I mean, if you want a battle, that's fine. I just need some levels. Oh man. Of course everything has to fucking confuse. Come on. Of course. Come on, actually hit it. Hit it. Thank you. That did nothing. I really expected that to do a lot more. Pain attack. Let's do this. Let's actually do some damage this time. There we go, Pounce. Cloister. Well, we'll do the same thing, except without doing the faint attacking first. Or without doing the cutting first. 
We will be doing the faint attacking first. Words. They... Whatever order they want to be in. It's not a great situation. There we go. I wonder if we'll actually manage to be at 100 HP next level. Probably. Be nice to have at least a couple of stats over three digits. I think... I think the speed is more than 100 now, but I'm not sure. Oh, we got 101. Oh yeah, our speed's 110. Wow. Our attack and special attack, I guess, need to uh, need to catch up. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Key lime, you can handle this because pounce can't. Razor leaf, just. It's a turtle little faint at the side of leaves, generally. Oh no! Rain! Whatever shall we do? Oh wait! No. That just lets us grow more leaves, really. Darn protect. Come on. There we go. I'm not of experience. I'd like to say that I'm good, yes. And maybe. What's over here? There's gotta be something there. Nothing? Are you sure? Oh. Huh. Okay. I'm sure there's something good up there, but I don't really want to teach anything Rock Smash right now. Unless I absolutely have to. Or catch something for it. It's a Meowth. I already have one. What? I'm sorry. I'm ten levels higher than you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess Squiddle is not really fast. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess I'll go around and grab that. I mean, it must be decent if they put it so far away. Watch it just be like a simple repel or something. Or a potion. Max repel! <laughs> okay. You know what? Sure, game. Sure. Why not? It's a tentacle. I absolutely don't want one of you. Out of my face. And back up and around. Oh. Oh. Talk to me. Cool. I'm not actually sure the direction I need to go here. A Hitmon Lee. Something more to fodder to the psychic squid. And oh okay. It has a little bit more special defense. Okay. Gasp! You can see where we are. Whatever shall we do about it? No, never mind, that's not. And a hitmon champ. Maybe this one can actually manage to hit us. It can, yes, it indeed it can actually hit us and do nothing. Good thing our defense is higher. Hey, right, wait, actually, no. That's that's a special move this gen. I forgot about that. Wow. The attacks no wait, special attack. Okay, yeah, because that's coming from special attack on a hitmon chan, which is not very high I don't think. And we gained a level. Uh, 
and why do you think you're a fool? Yeah, I don't have to do that. So where do I have to go? Kindle Road, Mount Ember. Oh, do I have to keep surfing or something? I'm not really certain. Hey, it's a pony duck. Neat. Not really interested. Can you not? Oh well, now we can't escape at all. So... Screw it. At this point, <laughs> you've just made yourself into just death fodder. And the Ponyta fights the ashes. I'd say the dust, but ashes. Let's see. Come on! Ah, uh, it's a Sparrow. I don't care at all. Get out of my way. I could probably use that Max Repel. I'm not going to, though. Let's see, do I go up this way? I suppose so. I've actually very rarely done this portion of the game. Suppose I should battle you. Or this... Oh, Whalmer! Oh, neat! I, uh... That must have been added by the, uh, by the hat creator. That's neat. I wouldn't have expected to see a Whalmer, actually. Okay, good. I am going the right way for Mount Temper. With a Starmie. Okay. Cool. Bullet Seed! Or we could get confused first. This is an option, indeed. I'd rather it wasn't an option. Uh, of course. I guess it's up to key line then. Oh no, my hazards. Hey, starfish, look! Leaves! I don't, I don't think I could take them. It's just trying to spin away now. And there it goes. That's a fair amount of experience, actually. Pretty good. The sky is always immense everywhere because it's the sky. Why would you say that the sky is immense here? Like, you can see large portions of it because they're not taken up by large buildings or something, but the sky is immense everywhere. Like, that doesn't change about the sky. shitting me. Okay, at least we managed to hit. Okay, three. Can we get more? No, of course we can't. Of course we can't. You know what, just for the hell of it, let's see if we can land an Aurora Beam. No. Of course we can't land a move. Really? Excuse me, Cedra. You're being a gigantic dick. Please stop. Thank you. For ceasing to be. Another Cedra. Yeah, let's just, uh... Switch out. Seems like a good idea. Into something that isn't slow as molasses. Oh, good! We missed! Thanks. Thanks, Key Lime. I totally forgot what it was like to be able to miss. Thanks for the fond remembrance. Actually, I think I used that one wrong. Oh, well. 
What do you have to say? What are you doing swimming with makeup on? There are some things that I don't think I'll ever understand. Well, at least it isn't a magic carp. Well, let's see. Maybe we can actually manage to take them out. I kind of doubt it. Oh, we got three at least. There's one. Let's switch out to pounce, actually. We'll heal a little bit. But pounce needs some more levels. And this is good for that. Well, it's at least decent for that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's... It's fine. A Sea King? Ooh. I think I'll screech you first. I don't really want you sitting around too long. To do nothing. <laughs> wow. Even after a screech, that still only does half. Well, now I know. Seek King gains a fair amount of defense on evolution. So now we'll do that twice. Fury attack. That could be bad. Uh, keeping those. There's my hyper potions. It's a waste of half of the hyper potion, but there's not really much in between a super potion and a hyper potion, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Screech. I... No, I don't think we managed to the first time. Okay. There's one. We missed the second. Of course we missed. What sort of thing would it be if we could actually manage to hit things? It'd be absurd if we could actually hit stuff. I am really glad that that didn't manage to do more. There we go. One shot. Technically. Another Sea King! Okay. I... For goodness sakes, Pounce. Can we stop missing? How do you miss when you screech at something? It isn't even something that you target. It's literally a sound you make out of your mouth and throat. Like, how do you miss? Then again, I suppose fish don't really hear things very well, so maybe that's how that works. Come on. And out of here. No, it survived! Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that. Maybe you should have reeled in the line before you challenged me. Alright. And here we are at Mount Ember. For whatever reason. Can you imagine if this volcano were to erupt? The explosion would be the end of us. 
How terrifying is that? While we're terrified, do you want me to teach your Pokémon how to explode in front of your eyes? No. How about no? How about we don't do that ever? Oh boy. Team Honk over there. Yeah, this ought to be good. But I think I'll save that one for next time on Pokestuck Fire Red. So until then, farewell.